Hi, this is Randall here in Texas. And I'm Matt, here in Michigan. Today, Randall and I are taking a look back at a 2011 comedy. We're taking a look at Bridesmaids. It stars Kristen Wiig, who also co-wrote the film, Maya Rudolph, Melissa McCarthy, Chris O'Dowd, Rose Byrne, Ellie Kemper, and Wendy McLendon Covey. It's directed by Paul Feig, a Michigan native, He's also directed other movies starring Melissa McCarthy, including The Heat and Spy. Bike also worked with both McCarthy and Wig again in 2016, Ghostbusters. Now, before Randall and I go any further, if you like this review, be sure to give us a thumbs up. Also, be sure to hit subscribe and ring that bell to get notifications on our latest videos. Bridesmaids picks up after Lillian, portrayed by Maya Rudolph, gets engaged. She asks her lifelong best friend, Annie, portrayed by Kristen Wiig, to be her maid of honor. Hilarity ensues when Lillian's newest BFF, Helen, portrayed by Rose Byrne, is also a bridesmaid and starts to compete in a series of one-upmanship with Annie. It had a reported $32 million budget and made $288 million at the box office. It is exceptionally well-liked by critics and has above average audience scores as well. It was awarded the Critics' Choice for Best Comedy. Take a look back at Bridesmaids. I really do enjoy this film. Still enjoy it today. It has one of my all-time favorite comedic moments in it. It has a lot of elements in this film that I have in some of my favorite comedy movies. I also very much enjoyed watching this film. Pretty much all of the jokes hit home. They, they, it's aged pretty well. I mean, it's not super old yet, but, you know, it doesn't go out of its way to make fun of any particular type of person or, or group of people. It's just jokes, which is, which is fun. Um, it is a little longer than I remember it being, but, you know, at over two hours, I'm probably going to talk about that a little bit later in a different segment. The film is still really funny, though. Absolutely a joy to watch. As far as the plot's concerned and the, the way the story unfolds, I love that it's not trying to reinvent the wheel. It doesn't try and do anything crazy. It's just a fairly simple premise of an event and all of the people trying to deal with everything that goes on around that event. And really, those situational comedies are work really well for me for the most part. But it's helped along because the characters are so well defined and they stay within their roles that, that I like them. And they, they act kind of like you would expect them to act, even while being comedic about it, which is sometimes a very fine line to walk. Sometimes things get a little bit overdone, not to hate on anything, but, you know, Ace Ventura is like way over the top. The rest of the characters are, are not, though. So in this film, a lot of the characters are pretty much on equal footing and, and I enjoyed it. They act like you expect the characters to act for the most part while being funny. To me, the story in this movie feels somewhat familiar, but I think there's enough wrinkles in that to make it feel fresh. I feel a lot like watching this movie. It's, it's pretty similar to like Hot Tub Time Machine, which came out a year earlier. But I actually enjoy this film more than that film does. But yeah, in general, you know, with the story about our characters and stuff too and and like their drives and stuff it's not that this is something that's like earth shattering new or whatever but i think it does the elements well in this film yeah you know there's another movie that it obviously draws a little bit from and that's the hangover it's just instead of taking place over like one exceptionally crazy night and day or whatever for the hangover it takes place through this very long time period of planning out a wedding uh, but it, it's it's definitely fresh enough and different enough, especially with the characters in this film, that it is okay. You know, it's not trying to not trying to be the hangover. It's its own thing. All right, so I think that leads right into characters and stuff of this film, and I really do like the characters in this film, and I think that's one of the strengths that we have in this movie that kind of differentiates a little bit between those other movies that we talked about, you know, hot tub time machine and the hangover. 
I think the reason that it is so strong is because a lot of these characters have real world problems. These characters actually feel real to me, and I think that's what makes it stand out and be different than a lot of other films. You know, a lot of these types of characters, we don't really get to see these problems and stuff come up on screen. So when we actually do see them, it makes them like real enduring characters and stuff. And I think that's what allows Bridesmaids to kind of like stand the test of time. So for me, the character that it just it just absolutely nails it, Melissa McCarthy's character. I, I like pretty much all the characters. I especially like the odd couple uh, Bridesmaids, uh, you know, the odd pairing between the already married three years, three boys thing versus, you know, the newlywed. But and, and again, Kristen Wiig and, and Rose Byrne's characters like facing off and doing all their things. That's fun, too. But there is there is nothing, no character in this film that is even remotely as enjoyable or as funny as Melissa, Melissa McCarthy's character. She does such a good job in this that I don't even see Melissa McCarthy. I just I just see this character. And it's hilarious, which I'm sure Matt's going to talk about later because it's one of his favorite scenes. So, um, again, all the characters do a very good job, but her portrayal is just above and beyond. I totally agree with you. I think Melissa McCarthy is excellent in this. For me, this is like the Melissa McCarthy role and stuff too. And it's, I think it's one of the first roles that really introduced me to her comedy and stuff. And I think part of the reason it works so well is because the movie isn't really just focused on her kind of thing. I think this type of character that and the type of stuff that they do works well as kind of like a secondary character to come out. Because it really is kind of like scene stealing you know movie stealing scenes or whatever that we get with melissa carthy in this film so yes totally agree she is really the standout for me i mean you can't talk about bridesmaids and without mentioning like chris and wig and, and rose burns characters in this though because you know they're the they're the true like main characters of the film you know they're, they're competitive nature they're both competitive people and they're competing against you know each other for for really, you know, Maya Rudolph's characters, she wants, they want her to love them more, kind of, or I know her better because I've known her so long, and who are you to come into her life? You know, that dynamic between those two characters is also very good. They both have the best, like, intentions for their friend, but the way they go about it and the and the obvious clash difference between those two is very present on screen, and, and in a good way. It actually helps elevate the portrayals of the characters, you know, with, without Kristen Wiig's character being in the place she is, you don't really have Rose Byrne's character being like the super rich person without any real friends as, as a good foil for her. So for like genre, this is a comedy and I think it hits it. Like Randall and I were talking about and alluding to like the big scene when, you know, we get like the, the Brazilian food or whatever that we get before the fitting. And we have the fitting where it ends in disaster with everyone getting sick. This is one of those scenes that even after you know it's coming, just the build up to the scene is so good. And when it happens, I lose my breath laughing so hard even though i've seen it many times know exactly what's gonna happen it doesn't matter it still goes there is a lot of great comedy in this film and that's not just one uh, the only scene that's like really funny that's just the real memorable one too i like movies that don't just rely necessarily completely on like one-liners we have a good variety of comedy in this film that helps keep my attention throughout the movie. And that's why I think it works really well as a comedy. I got to echo some of what Matt said. It's a comedy and it's hilarious. So from that perspective, mission accomplished. I mean, the thing that I like the most about it is that I think and I hope that this is one of those comedies that actually ages very well as time goes on because a lot of comedies don't a lot of comedy ages very poorly but this one doesn't take any jabs at specific groups or specific people it's just a situational comedy and i think that those comedies tend to age better it's just here's a group of people in this situation and here are the things that happen to them 
And that makes it more realistic. Like I said, you ex the characters kind of do things that you expect characters to do. I'm super hopeful that this is one of those comedies that stays funny. Because right now, yeah, I just I just laugh out loud at, at some of the stuff. And um, I know I mentioned a little earlier, the odd couple, which is kind of like they're the, the, the other two bridesmaids. They're not really that important to the story. But I love the way they're written. And I love them together because, you know, that... One of these people, she's just done with her marriage. She's like, ah, oh, I've been married. I got three kids. I, I basically hate my, my husband. And then you have this newlywed who's like, I can't wait to be married as long as you. And I'm like those two together, especially on the airplane, on the flight, when they're getting all wasted and everything, and then everything breaks out with Kristen Wiig's character, it, it's golden. I like those two together. It's very well done. And... That's the whole point of a comedy. Make people laugh. This one this one accomplishes that. Another reason why I think this does so well is it's not comedy just for the sake of comedy. It's not just like, hey, we're going to throw a bunch of laughs and, you know, interactions between our characters. And then, oh, yeah, well, we also have a story to tell. So, you know, we'll get to the story kind of thing. No, this comedy is interwoven with the story. Our big story is really with, like, Annie and focusing on, you know, the stuff that she's going through and how, you know, her life, like, impacts everything else that happens in the movie. That's what takes center stage. It's not like, hey, we're going to do a bunch of laughs here and then, oh, well, we'll get to that story, you know, later and try to put all the story together. It's just interwined throughout the whole film, and that's why I think it really works as a comedy. And let's not forget Maya Rudolph's epic takedown near the end of the film. I guess the later third of the film, where she's just she just goes off, and that's that's a fantastic like serious part, but it's still funny. So here you have a different kind of comedy. So this isn't just one kind of comedy. It's not just physical or you know satire or wordy comedy. There's also just like a serious part, like you're saying. It kind of works with the story. That works with the story when she finally has her... No, no! She does not get a party favor! She does not get a dog! It, you know, she's serious. The character's serious and she's upset, but the audience laughs at it because it's still a joke for the audience. Um, that that kind of comedy and the, the, the breadth of comedy in this is what I guess I should say is what makes it stand the test of time, I hope. So one thing with all this comedy, there is some that don't all hit for me. It's not like every piece of comedy is. Like one scene in particular I think is good for setting up our characters, but man, I just couldn't wait for it at the end was the back and forth that we get between Helen and Annie like trying to take over the like the maid of honor speech or whatever early on and, and all the way to go. To me, that was so painful to watch. I couldn't wait for it to be over. But at the same time, too, it really sets up these characters saying, hey, this is how far these characters are willing to go to one-up each other, you know, to get Maya Rudolph characters, you know, affection or whatever, or to be the, the top gal. So, yeah, it works, you know, for the film, and there's a key reason why it's in it. But for me, while it's going on, I'm like, man, please be over. Please, please let it end soon. So what I didn't see coming or what I didn't really like remember, I guess, is just how long this film is. It's over two hours long. The reason I mention it in this section is because I don't think it needs to be that long. I am perfectly happy. And I think that Matt Lucas and Rebel Wilson both do a great job in their little roles in this for what they're worth. But it's not necessary to the film. There are other things that happen to Annie, to, to Kristen Wiig's character that let you know she's down in the dumps right now. She is the main character. They talk about her bakery. They mention it. She goes to her mom. Her mom mentions she's hit rock bottom. You don't need any of these scenes with Matt Lucas and Rebel Wilson at all. And then you can get this thing back down to like, you know, an hour and 50-ish minutes probably. And it was just longer than it needed to be. And I had forgotten that. And it particularly annoying, I guess, after a time change and staying up way too late to watch it like we did. <laughs> um, really felt that runtime. So for me, what I didn't really see coming, the movie is called Bridesmaids, but I think the whole Bridesmaids as a group is kind of used a bit sparingly in this film. A lot of this film mostly focuses on Annie, even including like 
Annie's love life and stuff and the, you know, the different boyfriends and, you know, our whole storyline, you know, that she has with like Chris O'Dowd and stuff and all the time that we spend building with that and stuff. I think really as like a group, like having all the bridesmaids together, we only get, you know, like three or so scenes, I think, in this film. And I think those are the most memorable scenes of the entire film, too. So it kind of works kind of that way. It's just with I'm not saying that it's a bad thing. I think the movie works well and stuff, too. But as a movie called Bridesmaids, I really don't think that like the whole Bridesmaids groups are really the main focus of this movie. All in all, I really enjoyed this movie. So many comedic moments in, including one of my all-time favorite comedic moments in a movie. Absolutely love it. And it doesn't, you know, take away from the story. This movie's able to tell a story in that all as well, too. So for me, this movie really stands the test of time. This is a movie I'm going to continue to go and watch in the future as well. For me... This movie is still funny. It's quotable, which is awesome. I love quotable movies. That's one of our things that we we really latch onto. But it's just downright enjoyable. It tells a good story. You get your laughs out of it. You get, you know, really good portrayals of characters out of the actors. Just all in all, fantastically fun to watch. But of course, Matt and I want to know what you guys think. So make sure that you let us know in the comments below. We have other flashback movie reviews, we have new movie reviews, some TV series reviews, and some deeper dive discussions. We also have a Facebook page. Be sure to check us out there. We post a lot of different things on our fandoms. We also post a day before our videos come out to let you know what the topic of the video is going to be. If you're not on Facebook, don't worry. Just go to our YouTube page. We have a schedule that comes out. Videos come out every Monday and Thursday. For now, I'm Matt here in Michigan. Have a good day. And I'm Randall here in Texas. See everyone next time. Next time on No Market Media. Please consider checking out some of our other videos.